got here, we're about four hours into this uh, build right now. Um, we've been working here after uh, after work, working on this car. So uh, we've got about four hours in it right now. Uh, we've disassembled the whole front end. Uh, we've got the motor out. Uh, and Josh right now is disassembling the Cleveland motor. Uh, what we want to do, uh, because of the way the guy was talking to us about this car, uh, we want to make sure, we're going to pull the VIN numbers on it to make sure it wasn't a Cleveland Cobra jet. Uh, and most of the time, you, what you'll notice right here is you'll have these smaller ports and the two larger ports on this back side. Uh, that's probably a good indication that we probably do have a Cleveland Cobra jet here. Um, and... It may not be, and you never know about those kind of things. But we're going to run the casting numbers on it, so Josh is going to go ahead and assemble this motor anyway. Um, one of the things you want to do when you're looking to buy a car, um, you're going to want to pick the car you want. Um, but for a fastback, the only way to get it cheap is to get an unoptioned car. Um, as you can tell, this one right here has drum brakes. Um, it is a power steering car. Uh, didn't have uh, a lot of your options. Didn't have air conditioner stuff like that. It's one of the reasons we got it so cheap. But like I said, we got a Sedona car. If you find you a fastback for a reasonable price, what you're going to want to do is look around and try to find you an option coupe. Uh, you can usually pick them up in the junkyards, find them on eBay, Craigslist like that, and uh, it'll save you a fortune in the long run. Uh, an accessory uh, disc brake for a car is going to probably run you about $1,100. Um, so you're better off just go ahead and get you a, uh, a donor car with these options on it, and it'll save you a lot of money in the long run. Uh, I think we probably got $700 in that coupe, um, which is going to, if you count what we're going to have in front end parts, um, the car is already paid for itself. Um, it had 9 inch, uh, 8.8 .8 in the back rear end, so that's not going to help us out a lot. But So what we're going to do is we're going to disassemble this whole front of this car. Um, the thing is about a 69 and a 70 is that this has got a smaller uh, spindle in it. Um, your 70 and 70, or your 71s and your 72s and some of your later models have a larger spindle in it. Um, the 68 Fastback we built, we took a 71 spindle and uh, we called Joe Bear. hold on a second Josh before you get cranking on that thing. Uh, out of Baton Rouge or Gonzales, Louisiana. He sold us a whole front spindle kit for about 75 bucks. Uh, and then we went ahead and uh, added what we needed to on it. Um, so right now we're fixing to disassemble the brakes. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and uh, get ready for the disc brakes off the other car. Um, we got a lot of metal work to do in here, so we're not going to get in no hurry about reassembling this thing until all this other metal work is done. Um, but uh, that's as far as we've gotten uh, in the last four hours. So uh, we'll, as further we get into it, uh, the more videos we'll do. But uh, all right, well, all right, keep watching and we'll keep making. All right, bye.